Introduction. Yeah, but introduction to what? What is this? You just you just introduction and up to people. All right, so this is the first book of the generational health series. Right? This is the first book. It's called what? What's the title of this book? Adams of Self Development. Adams of self-development. Adams of self-development. Come on, you can't be shy. You gotta say it like you when okay, look, just just think that nobody's looking. Just come on, just say it out loud, lady. All right, so now we're ready for you to 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 to, to bust out the introduction. Now we know what you you introducing us to. Now you can, you know. Introduction. These books are to be read as a family to Create this. Don't rush all up. You gotta slow it down. Relax. Come on, look. Yeah, in your nose, out your mouth. Come on. Come on, lady. All right, now, now that you're relaxed, everybody, you know, you got your vibe. These books are to be read as a family to create this uh, discussions. Group learning, group sharing. This is how we build generational health, learning and teaching as a family. Chemistry. Hold is up, hold just up. You, you can't listen. You can't just fly through it, okay? It's going to be a lot of people in the YouTube world, you know, like a hundred people. They're all going to be watching, right? They, you can't just go fast. You got to relax. So, do you want to, you want to say, Peace or anything to the people out there. Tell them to go get the books. Go get my dad's books. They're pretty good. <laughs> and we are... Peace to the family. This is Adul Ali, candidate for U.S. House District 12 here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Let's just be real, folks. The Democrats have destroyed our major cities. Their policies have made us less safe. They've given us less economic opportunity, and they've provided less educational opportunities for our children. And that's why I'm running for Congress, because I know what it takes to improve these issues. I've got great working relationships already in D.C. I've spent the last 10 years of my life building my political resume so that that one of us, somebody who thinks like we do, could get into D.C. and make a difference. I want you to visit AliForCongress.com to find out more about my campaign. The Democrats have already done enough, and now they're putting illegal aliens in front of people like you and me, folks whose ancestors built this country and made it what it is today. So again, I'm asking you to support me in my run for U.S. House District 12 here in North Carolina. You don't have to live in North Carolina to support because what happens in Congress affects the entire country. So again, it's AliForCongress.com. I hope to have your support. Peace and love, y'all. So let's be clear about this. The connection is that the music industry are full of liberals. I just, and I wasn't going to bring this up. You had me and Roscosh having a respectful back and forth. For those who don't know who Roscosh is, he's an OG West Coast rapper who's out there promoting Kamala Harris. Now, if you scroll down, you see the Trump kryptonite post and what I had to say on that. Now, you can read that for the people. It's too small for me. All right. So, at Roscos, we respect your right to post whatever you want, but you need to do a little more research. Trump don't have a kryptonite. The sad thing is the level of lack of research. The fact of the matter is that the people in the photo are incompetent puppets. They represent everything that we have been standing against in hip hop. These folks are pro police brutality. They are pro incarceration for blacks and Latinos. 
respectfully, this is just sad to see so many people who aren't involved in politics and have influence promote such uneducated ideas. I respect your right to say and post whatever. It's just sad. His reply, his reply is there. At Architect, go research the personal party you are defending. Go download Project 2025, then tell me who is sad and which option is worse. I appreciate your attack in disagreeing. It was done respective, respectfully and lovingly, I would say. But unfortunately, I think that you are misinformed, my friend. Check your DM, bro. I'm an elected Republican and I'm from hip hop. I'm not someone talking talk. I'm on the inside of operations. Project 2025 isn't the Republican Party platform at all. Matter of fact, it's over 900 pages and out. I meant to say our. And our part of the platform is 16 pages. And I meant to say our party platform is 16. Our party platform is 16 pages. As a journalist, I write for a newspaper and I cannot afford to not study these documents. Please check your deal. So hold on. So you're saying Project 2025, mm -hmm. 900 pages right. long. You're saying that 16 of those pages. No, what I'm saying is Project 2025. And this is how I know respectfully Brother Roscos didn't read it. He's just parroting CNN, MSNBC, and, and Mark Lamont Hill. He's parroting. It's a 900-page document. You didn't read it. I read it, all 900 pages. I even hit the document with a control F. You know, y'all know what control F does? No. It, it control F right now on your keyboard. If you hit control F on a document and then type a word, it'll find that word in the document. Okay. Take the take the now. I'm no fan of Project 2025, but I read all 900 pages. I control F the word black in the document mm. in every instance of the word black. If Roscos would do that, his his statement proves he didn't read it and don't know nothing about it because everything that's in there he would agree with. Black, we need to have a program that puts black fathers back in the household who's going to disagree with that uh, i know who's going to disagree but i don't want to get my video banned <laughs> right we know who's going to disagree but but i'm saying i know i know from what we grew up in the type of hip-hop and what he's on when i said what i said in my comment is because we come from the element of black medallion we come from the element of family and community we come from that. We're not coming from, we're not talking about the modern iteration of the hip hop industry. We talking about the culture of hip hop. I, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. So, I'm just, so essentially, uh, so essentially what, what I'm saying is our Republican party platform is 16 word, uh, 16 pages. I have it pulled up here already. And I have project 2025 pulled up already. Hold on. Let me share my tab. Yeah. No, I was trying to see if it's just that simple. Bam. Yeah, go ahead. Project 2025 right there. Yeah. So so if you click on that, there, you mm -hmm. can go right here, everybody, and you can kind of just grab the PDF, it looks like. Yeah. Wait, or can you can you not grab no, it? No, you can't go back. Go back. I think you clicked on the wrong thing. That's not the top one. Go to the second one. The heritage, that one right there. Boom. Now scroll down. Now go back up. Go back up. Go back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back. Read it yourself. Yeah. The, we are open book and our materials available online. Right there. Bang. Now. Read the mandate. Go ahead. Read the mandate. See? Three uh, clicks. Now hit control F on your keyboard. From here or don't I have to download it first? Nah. Hit control F on your keyboard. Type in the word black. Oh no, it didn't open up. Let me Are down. you on a Mac or a PC? Mac. Command F. Oh, Command F. All right, let me see. Oh, there it goes. 
Type in the word black, and it's going to tell you how many instances the word black comes up. One of 35. Click, let's go through all, all of them right now. Go to the first one as a name, black men, Jacob Blackman. Let's go down, hit the down arrow to the next one. This is all Ras Kasha had to do. Go ahead. Anybody else who's parroting how bad this is? Today, the American family is in crisis. 40% of all children are born to unmarried mothers, including more than 70% of black children. Fact the mundo. Go down to the next thing. Black Lives Matter. Divisive symbols such as the rainbow flag. Come on. Keep going. What's the next one? Black Rock. All right. Keep going. The use of blackies warrants should be uh, uh, operationalized within ICE. All right? And blackies warrants is something to do with policy to remove illegal aliens. It's a name. Blackies is a name. Not a, not like blackies. The black I got you. I got you. Like blacks uh, law. law. Right, right, right. Go ahead. Next. So next instant. Right. Go ahead. It's that again. That again. All right. Section of via sanctions. All right. Black letter implementation. Keep going. Black rock and Disney. Blackmail. What else you got? The mission. All right. For most of our history, the federal government played a minor role in education. Then over a 14 month period, beginning in 1964, Congress planted the seeds for what would become the U.S. Department of Education. In July of that year, Lyndon B. Johnson signed into law the Civil Rights Act of 1964. After Congress reached a consensus that the mistreatment of Black Americans was no longer tolerable and merited a federal response. Okay, so there's nothing over there about, about that. Go ahead. Let's keep going. Funding to institutions should be block granted and narrowed to his. So they're saying the money should be block granted. Lumps of money should go to black colleges. Go ahead. Keep going. For clarity, this is a bill to get money to black colleges. Without black colleges. question. Okay. Without question. Uh, school discipline and disparate impact. Assuring a safe and orderly school environment should be a primary consideration for school leaders and district administrators. None of y'all disagree. Unfortunately, federal overreach has pushed many school leaders to prioritize the pursuit of racial parity in school discipline indicators, such as detention, suspensions, expulsion over student safety. So in other words, in layman's terms, your son is a fuck up. He's disrupting the class, but because he's black with dreads, we don't want to suspend him because we don't need to see black suspension rates high. Instead of sending his ass home, letter that letter that muddled standard for civil rights enforcement under Title um where to go? Oh, okay. Uh, for Title Six or seven, what is that? I'm I'm, poor, I'm sloppy on my my um my Roman numerals. Title Seven was that? Title Eight? I know V is five, six. What is that? For student discipline cases before the DSL, a school would be in violation of federal law for treating black and white students differently for the same offense. I don't got no problem with that. So what's the next instance? This especially problem that given both of the assumptions behind equity and idea of Florida, especially da 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 da. Black students are actually underrepresented in special education once adequate statistical controls are made. That means that this regulation effectively further dispresses the provision of valuable services to an already underserved group. This don't sound anti-black to me. What's the next one? OE was created after 2003 blackout. 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 Ellen black box model. Black I right. implement of pro man Inky, could you read that to the people? Implement a pro-fatherhood messaging campaign with nearly 41% of children born without a married father in the home and nearly 69% among Black Americans. God damn, that's almost double. That's crazy. The fatherhood problem is clear. Similar to Florida Governor Ron DeSantis' 2022 Fatherhood bill, HMRF funds should be used to support national messaging campaigns that affirm the role fathers play in the lives of their children, that recognize the financial hardships the fathers themselves face, and that seek to provide relationship education to fathers who were raised without a father in the home. 
uh, excuse me, if anybody who read Project 2025 said it's anti-black and it's going to be a problem for black people, I know you didn't read it. You didn't read it. Wow. Keep going. Nah, What's the next gonna, one? We, now nah, we're going to tap. We're going to tap. We're going to. All right. Now do me a favor. Pull up the Republican Party platform because that's a way shorter document. Hold on. Hold on. I want to I want to I want to do this real quick again just for. So Project 2025 PDF. Go to Google and type this in. Project 2025 PDF. Scroll down to the Heritage Foundation. Click the link. Scroll down. To available online right there. So we are an open book with our materials. Bang. Scroll down again. Read the mandate. Hit so, the download. Hit the, the download button and go in. So the conversation. Wait a minute. So the conversation that this is a a book that you have to purchase for an exorbitant amount of money in order to read is a false narrative because there's a, a sister online that's painting that now. It's clearly right here for free for everybody to read. Right. Now, now on the tail end of this, because I got to run, the last thing I want everybody to see is this Republican Party platform, if you don't mind pulling that up. So type in Republican. Republican Party platform, 2024. Party. Now, I want y'all to understand that, that both parties have a platform that you can pull up. We just wait. redid our party platform and had my brother and I had input on this. Wait, wait, wait. You saying pull that up within the document or? No, no, no. Right in, in a new window or whatever, new tab. Just pull okay. up the, the, the Republican Party platform because I want to address that. The Republicans are anti-black. Okay, let's pull this up. Uh, About our party, Republican Party platform. Uh, what's that top one right there? Yeah, click that top one. See what we got right there. Okay, scroll down. That's the one right there. All right. Yeah, make that a little bigger because this one is sh way shorter, right? Uh, but this is the new party platform. The old one used to be three, 400 pages. And this one is 16 pages. Now, can you do a command F and see the word black? <laughs> can, we, can we get that going? not working oh just click on the blank side of like anywhere in the white and then try it no no command f all right let me try it on my end uh i have it pulled up right here man f b l a c k it doesn't even come up on the page yeah because it might have to be um no because there's no mention of that in the platform that's the issue uh, let me see if I can find the PDF. PDF. Boom, boom, boom. Dobbs 2024. Republican. Da, 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 da. Let's see. All right. All right. So let me do this. Let me share my screen for our bounce. Uh, present. We go present. Go share screen. Here, share. 16 pages. To make clear our commitment, we offer to the American people. You got my tab? Mm -hmm. Seal the border, stop migrant invasion. Carry out the largest deportation operation in American history. End inflation, make America affordable. Make America the dominant energy producer in the world by far. Stop outsourcing and turn the United States into a manufacturer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, man. Number four. I don't think people understand what that means. Let's, let's not even do it. That's Everybody a whole nother... get wealthier. Let's just... every every single person stop. Uh, it says large tax cut for workers and no tax on tips. Before Kamala said it, defend our constitution, our bill of rights, and our fundamental freedoms, including freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and the right to keep and bear arms. Prevent World War Three. Restore peace in Europe and the Middle East, and build the Great Iron Dome missile defense shield over our country. All made in America. End the weaponization of the government against the American people. Stop the migrant crime epidemic, demolish the foreign drug cartels, crush gang violence, and lock up violent offenders. Rebuild our cities, including Washington, D.C. Make them safe, clean, and beautiful again. Strengthen and modernize our military. Keep the U.S. dollar as the world reserve currency. Fight check, for and protect... Check, check. Razzcast is in a casket right now. He's in a grave. He's buried. You, 
you you kill you killed Raskas respectfully for the record. Just yeah, just it, Raskas is. But hopefully he receives this with love because we need folks to start waking up. Y'all need stop. to yo if y'all if y'all follow him, tagging him and say yo these brothers was talking about you today and know this. Oh this no no no! Thing, I'm this going is, to clip it and title it for him. So it, it he, well it, this this I, is what I want to point out before I go. Notice the the level of disagreement we had, and notice how respectful. This is what ninety percent, ninety nine, ninety five percent of conservatives approach it. That's not how it goes on the other side. If we don't agree with what they put down, we're racist, we're bootlickers, we're we people that tend to lean more left get real nasty when you don't agree with their point of view or have a different opinion or point of view from them. So that's the thing to take away is that being a conservative or being a liberal, being a Democrat or a Republican shouldn't devolve into being nasty to each other. It shouldn't devolve into name calling and losing family members and blah, 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 blah. It shouldn't do that. So, yeah, man, I pre yo, Inky, I appreciate the, um, you know, the opportunity to do the build again on the platform. Um, respect and salute and shout out to everybody that watched this video and, and uh, gave us your time today, bro. And I appreciate you. Yes, sir. We out of here. Peace to the family. This is Adul Ali, candidate for U.S. House District 12 here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Let's just be real, folks. The Democrats have destroyed our major cities. Their policies have made us less safe. They've given us less economic opportunity, and they've provided less educational opportunities for our children. And that's why I'm running for Congress, because I know what it takes to improve these issues. I've got great working relationships already in D.C. I've spent the last 10 years of my life building my political resume so that one of us, somebody who thinks like we do, could get into D.C. and make a difference. I want you to visit our AliforCongress.com to find out more about my campaign. The Democrats have already done enough and now they're putting illegal aliens in front of people like you and me, folks whose ancestors built this country and made it what it is today. So again, I'm asking you to support me in my run for U.S. House District 12 here in North Carolina. You don't have to live in North Carolina to support because what happens in Congress affects the entire country. So again, it's Ali for